Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. IG has no power to subpoena former Obama employees. That's why Rod Rosenstein asked him to investigate spying on Trump. Now on Sunday evening, Justice Department Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein asked Inspector General Horowitz to investigate whether there was impropriety or political motivation into the FBI's infiltration of Trump's campaign. Now this came just hours after President Trump demanded a review of whether Obama's deep state FBI did indeed spy on his campaign by tweeting out saying, I hereby demand and will do so officially tomorrow that the Department of Justice look into whether or not the FBI and DOJ infiltrated or surveilled the Trump campaign for political purposes, and if any such demands or requests were made by people within the Obama administration. Now, Rod Rosenstein asked Inspector General Horowitz to investigate the spying on the Trump campaign. Now we know why Rosenstein gave this investigation to the Inspector General. Rosenstein knew that the IG investigation could take months to complete, and Rosenstein knew that the IG has no power to subpoena former Obama employees involved in the scandal. I told Sarah last week, Sarah, am I going to recognize the initials of the informant? Yeah, we all recognize them. Uh, I thought I was being clever. But now we're discovering two separate reports that he got paid in two, a two-year period of time between 400000 and maybe a million, maybe as high as a million. Mm -hmm. We also learned that from Devin Nunes, we might have a second spy on a presidential candidate. I read the Wall Street Journal, but now you've got people like Ted Olson, who I, everybody respects, um, the former Solicitor General, Mark Penn. Cheryl Atkinson's timeline is devastating to the entire story, the entire narrative. Your reaction to all of this? Well, here's the thing. Um, I, you know, inspector generals are good in certain circumstances. Here's the problem with Mr. Horowitz. He cannot interview any of the people who have left the Department of Justice or FBI. He has no subpoena authority. So all of the people who were part of the plot and were in DOJ and the FBI are gone. He can't talk to them. All he can do is review documents and talk to whoever's left to do that. What we need is a federal grand jury with a prosecutor. It doesn't have to be a special counsel. And by the way, let's remember why we're here. We're here because Rod Rosenstein, a political coward, someone who was inadvertently made deputy attorney general, appointed Robert Mueller illegally with no evidence that any crime had been committed. And here we are more than a year later with nothing having been determined except that there was no Russian collusion. All of these people having been put through hell because Rod Rosenstein couldn't do what he should have done, he's which is had it conducted. He's Not only is he conflicted because he was a witness and he signed some of the warrants. Right. Guess what? Suppose there was activity, which I believe there was, that went beyond the law. Rod Rosenstein is not only a witness, he would be a co-conspirator. I mean, this is ludicrous. Watch, watch. When you think, when you think yeah. that the President of the United States has to demand an investigation into something that is so ob obviously criminal, and now right, let me the Chief quick. of Staff, General Kelly, is telling Rod Rosenstein, show them the documents. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.